So, okay, next question. Same dude from Marcin or Markin. How do you reach new clients? So, network is everything, but network can't be created in a vacuum. I've gotten a lot of work locally just by making friends with the right people, like serendipity, basically. But I built my career as it is now by doing remote editing. What I'm trying to say is that look for things to do in your immediate surroundings. If it doesn't lead to a lot of ongoing work, maybe there's some low hanging fruit. You get to practice to build your portfolio use that portfolio to go online. So that's what I did. Took my previous work from local clients, went online, where online, specifically freelance platforms. And there's not a lack of them. You have freelancer.com, you have Upwork, the two platforms that I've had most success on. Second place, Contra, I've had some few, but really solid clients come in there. My main bread and butter has been Fiverr. Fiverr has been a game changer for me. So when I first started off there, I was really patient. I did not have the expectation of getting super nice clients right off the bat. I think I created a profile, put in a lot of work to make it professional, present who I am, make myself stand out, in sense of quality. It took one month before someone reached out to me and I priced myself super low as well to make sure that clients would come in. And I would just think of it as an investment for the future. So, and when I say low, I mean like $25 for one video. It was like nothing. But you do it and you do it as good as humanly possible. And then that one video will lead to the, to the next video. And then that one video will lead to the next video that takes in maybe like a month later. So it starts snowballing really slow. Again, first six months, barely any traffic, but I over delivered. And then that slowly just led to more clients. Fast forward, then I have a lot of solid work, mm, a lot of non-solid work because there's some weird projects coming in but you do it to get paid, you get the nice reviews and every once in a while, there will be like a nice project that it will look aesthetically good enough that you can put it in your portfolio and it will also have content that's well relevant for different niches that you wanna work within, whether it's advertisement, real estate, testimonial videos, text animation, ad placements, YouTube videos, of course. And again, there will be serendipity on different places online. I've gotten work through LinkedIn. As I mentioned, I gotten some really solid work via Contra. And don't forget these clients, they're more than just a name on the screen. If they are willing to create a working relationship with you, like, just embrace it wholeheartedly. Some of my clients, I treat them as friends because they kind of feel like friends. Like I will get to know them. I will genuinely ask how they're doing. I will care for their well-being. But there's also been times where I've gone over, beyond, I really try to create work relationships with clients that I saw fruitful, but they, they just see you as a number on the screen as well. Going back to that first example that I mentioned with the last question, that sometimes they will just use you as a tool in an iteration process and you just need to accept it if you want to keep working with them. Summary, how do I reach new clients? Freelance platforms like Fiverr and Contra have been worth gold to me. They are incredibly hard to get results on, but invest six to 10 months and I can almost guarantee that if you actually have good work to show to, there will happen things. You just need to be patient. I will also post a link to a video that I saw on how to get started on Fiverr. I didn't follow it to every single detail, but I took the main takeaways there. And that was a crucial part in how I actually got results on Fiverr. Main takeaway, be a human being, be a professional. Don't be like, I will edit this video and I will overpromise and I will edit with a lot of flashy blah, blah, blah. No, uh, treat yourself 
as a professional and as a human being that can be related to to have an okay conversation. I, di I didn't start off very well at first with video calls, meaning that I was quite nervous, I was kind of awkward, but then I got comfortable with it. And I, I love jumping on video calls and just saying hi to people and having a genuine interest in getting to know them. And when it's abroad, it's so fun. It's so fun talking with people who's not from your country. That was my long answer to how do you reach new clients? So, um, yeah, first video in two years. Hope you got something out of it. If you have questions for future AMAs, leave them in a the comment below and I will do my best to give you a solid answer. And until next time, good luck. You can do it, I'm sure, whatever you're trying to do. <laughs>